Hi, everybody. It's Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. Good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome to Against the Public. I'm Dana Lane. We're the only show that combs through early betting patterns, tells you exactly where you might want to steer clear of early public opinion. Today, we've identified three NBA games where early public betting trends might be a little bit misguided. That gives you a better opportunity to win if we could take advantage of a better number. So that's what we're going to do today. Before we get into it, a record 93 and 78. Sorry about last night, guys. Uh, first over, I think, that we've ever had on the show, but uh, still overall from the beginning, yeah, more than profitable, and, and we'll, we'll come back from that. But let's focus on where the good news is. If I want to remind you, everybody that got involved with my college football three-pack last night on PickDogs.com, congratulations, a perfect 3-0 and College football cranks back up tonight with two uh, gains from the MAC. That has given us uh, three plays overall. And if you've been with me all season, you know it is time to, to load up. 3-0 and last night, 81-62 and on the season, 57% winners plus 1,265 units. That makes me by far the number one college football handicapper. Over the last 30 days, it's gotten even stronger. I'm a documented 40 in 24 in college football, 63% winners, plus 1,355 units. Make sure you join me tonight as we attempt to close out another incredible season in college football. Also, in addition to the three football plays between Miami, uh, Buffalo, Miami of Ohio, Buffalo, you get side and total in that. Central Michigan and Ohio are up. But please also get on board right now for my 30-day all-access pass, $399.99. Gives you every single play on my, on my card, whether it's NBA, NHL, college basketball, uh, college football, NFL coming up. You get every play for $399.99, just about $13.13 a day. Also, that three-pack is $54.99. Didn't mention that. $54.99 gets you all three plays for one low price. And, of course, it comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee. If you do not profit, we'll give you an immediate site credit for the purchase price. Hopefully, uh, that has convinced you to join me tonight. A massive hot streak in college football, so uh, join me uh, tonight and all weekend, honestly. Uh, okay, let's get to our free plays. Uh, once again, I can't, I can't lay off Washington Wizards game, so... Uh, free play number one, Dallas Mavericks minus five, 245 at the Washington Wizards. That number has dipped from five and a half to five. Why, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, this looks like an adjustment based upon uh, betting patterns, uh, which you know, looks to be on the Dallas Mavericks. But uh, this has gone from five and a half to five. I've outlined the other day many reasons not to put your money behind the Washington Wizards. The Mavs are coming off their worst loss of the season to New Orleans. Uh, by tw uh, They turned the ball over 20 times in that game. That's not going to happen. They're not going to They're gonna come right back after that 21-point loss. Uh, Doncic isn't going 5 for 16 tonight. So we're going to take the Mavs minus the 5. Game number 2, Orlando Magic versus Chicago Bulls. This is game 5 on 9, 5, 10. Bulls minus 1.5 and, and 2.16. We see some money line cash coming in on the Magic. 57% of the money line cash comes in on the Magic. But I, I still think this number is going to hold steady uh, after the Bulls open at 2.5. Now that's down to 1.5. So a one-point uh, difference in the, in the opening number versus where it is right now. This is going to be the first of two straight home games against the Bulls for Orlando uh, which finished poorly in their loss to, to Brooklyn the other night. And the Nets came out. If you watched that game in the first quarter specifically, they really came out aggressive. And I think it wasn't, in fact, uh, we saw Jamal Mosley say it wasn't what they did in the fourth quarter to us. It's what they did in the first quarter to us. And if I'm Chicago, I mean, that is my blueprint for victory tonight. I think Chicago is also going to come out aggressive and try to wear down Orlando. Um, we're going to take Chicago minus one and a half. That's a really good number there. And in game number three, uh, game number 5-11, uh, 5-12, Minnesota Timberwolves at the Phoenix Suns. Uh, the Suns minus six, 224. 63% of the money is on Minnesota. 54% of the tickets is on Minnesota. The public, I don't, I can't get a grasp of the public because I thought for sure tonight would be the night where we would see 
uh, Suns money. The books, to me, have taken a stand on this game with a send-out number adjusted from 5.5 to 6. Yep, that does happen uh, in an effort to get uh, Timberwolves money. Uh, I, I just, look, tonight is going to be the night where we're going to expect Devin Booker on the court. We're going to expect Bradley Beal on the court. Uh, we're going to expect Kevin Durant on the court at the same time. It's the first time all three of them have been on the floor at the same time. Um, did I say Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and Kevin Durant? Okay, I just want to make sure I got all three. Um, while the Wolves are uh, obviously playing their second game in 24 hours, a win in Golden State in San Francisco, which is something that doesn't happen very often. We're going to take the Suns minus six in this game and not really fall for the plus six bait, even though Minnesota has been playing terrific. So that does it for our three plays today. All favorites, I just realized this, uh, Dallas minus five, Chicago minus one and a half, and Phoenix minus six. Go to pickdogs.com right now. Get involved with one of my many packages that are up there, including my college football three-pack for $54.99, a perfect 3-0 night last night. Incredible uh, documented season in college football, so, so please get involved. You can also join me by getting my 30-day all-access pass for $399.99. Let's keep on building that bankroll. Let's keep sitting there at that number one spot in college football. Also, feel free to DM me at Dana Lane Sports or leave a message on the YouTube page. I do check that from time to time. For Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. Thanks for joining us. All the best to you and your wagers on Wednesday.